My name is Dr. Andrew Bletcher, and I specialize in sports medicine and regenerative medicine at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute. And I'm here today with one of my favorite patients to talk to you about stem cell therapy. I'm Lainey Castro, and I'm a 24-year-old volleyball player, and I had stem cell therapy about two months ago. Let's first talk about what stem cell therapy is. Stem cells are our body's repair mechanism. They live in our bone marrow and fat, and they travel to areas of injury to heal and repair damaged tissue. Unfortunately, there are certain areas in our joints, tendons, ligaments, and cartilage that have poor blood supply, and therefore the stem cells can't get to where they need to go to heal the damage. So the theory is that if we can put the stem cells there in high concentrations, then they can do what they're supposed to do and repair the damaged tissue. First, we have to harvest the stem cells from the bone marrow. And as you can see here, we are aspirating her bone marrow from the posterior pelvis. Many patients are anxious about this part of the procedure, but it's usually much less painful than patients expect it will be. How was it for you, Lainey? I didn't really know what to expect um, with the bone marrow aspiration, because I have heard it, it's quite painful. Um, but Dr. Bletcher explained everything he was doing very clearly. He told me what it was gonna feel like, and in all honesty, it really wasn't very painful. Once we have collected the bone marrow, we then centrifuge, concentrate, and isolate the stem cells in the lab. We use the proprietary Regenex process to concentrate much higher numbers of stem cells than we otherwise could just using a bedside centrifuge. A bedside centrifuge may yield only about 10 to 20 million stem cells, but in cases such as Laney, we were able to obtain over 1 billion nucleated cells. Well, first we add some things to create a paste so that the stem cells stick to the target tissue and don't just float around and get lost. We also combine different types of PRP and some other adjuvants to promote the stem cells to do their job correctly. The next step is to accurately inject the paste into the right location under ultrasound guidance. In Laney's case, we inject it into her hip joint. Typical surgical treatments usually require long periods of immobilization, rehabilitation, and recovery. With stem cell treatment, we are doing a minimally invasive procedure with a very quick recovery. In many cases, patients can walk immediately after the procedure. We can also usually get patients back to high levels of activity within two to three months after the procedure. Lainey, you're about two months out from the procedure. Can you tell us what types of things you're doing now? I've returned to work as an animal trainer, which is pretty physically demanding, so it's nice to be able to run around with the animals again. Um, I've also been able to get back to cycling, hiking, rock climbing, and I hope that in another month or two I can get back to other things I love doing, like volleyball, uh, martial arts, and racquetball. And that's the biggest benefit to stem cell therapy, in my opinion. As opposed to replacing a joint, which may change the patient's lifestyle, we are attempting to naturally heal the injury and allow the patient to return to all the sports and activities that they enjoy. Lainey is much too young to have to undergo hip replacement, and hopefully we have now avoided her having to do so in the future. Lainey, thank you so much for joining us today to talk about this important topic. My pleasure.